In the previous lesson, we installed Visual Studio from the Visual Studio installer by using the Workloads tab. In this lesson, we're going to install Visual Studio by using the Components tab. So to do that, first we're going to locate the Visual Studio installer that we installed previously. So click Start, scroll to the letter V, and you'll see both Visual Studio 2017 that we installed previously and the Visual Studio installer. Let's click that. And again, you'll get a user account control that will ask you if you'd like to install the Visual Studio installer just to confirm. It defaults to no. Be sure to click yes. We'll wait for that to get started. It's pretty quick, as you can see, popped right up. So, in this case, because we've previously installed Visual Studio, what we want to do is modify it. So we're going to click the Modify button. And what that'll do is it'll bring up the Visual Studio installer screen that we saw earlier when we installed the .NET Desktop Development Workload. So now we're going to click Individual Components. And here is where you can truly customize your Visual Studio installation. But for today's lesson, we're going to pick something called the Help Viewer. So we'll scroll to the Code Tools section, and we're going to click Help Viewer right here. You can see that the install size is 17 megabytes, so it should go pretty quickly. Now, you'll notice that this button says Modify, and that's because we previously installed Visual Studio. If you had started from a fresh install of Visual Studio and you chose to go the individual components route, that would say install. But for here, modify means the same thing. So let's click that. And we can see that, again, we have the Visual Studio install screen. And this should go pretty quick. And there it is. So, to go ahead and verify that we've installed the Help Viewer, let's click Launch, which will start our instance of Visual Studio 2017. OK, Visual Studio starts on the project page. And we want to see the Help Viewer. So let's click Help. And then we have a Set Help Preference. Now, the default is for Help to launch in a browser. But because we have installed the Help Viewer, we can choose that instead. And the advantage of that is it includes a set of offline help pages. So let's say you're traveling on an airplane, you're using your computer, perhaps you have an unreliable internet connection, but you want to see a help file, then this becomes really handy. So let's go ahead and click Launch in Help Viewer now. First thing we'll see is that it will ask us if we'd like to download some content. And we have not downloaded it for English, so let's go ahead and say yes, because we do want to download it now. And we start the Help Viewer. We see the Help Viewer, and we see that we have some selections pre-selected for us. And this all looks pretty good to us right now, so let's click Update. Again, click Yes on the User Account Control dialog box. And you can see that that's starting to download. This should probably take around two to three minutes. So we'll wait for that. So now you can see that the Help Viewer is installed. And we've got the chapters. And we've got the content items that we selected. So let's take a look. Let's click the C Sharp Guide, for instance. And now you can see here is all of our C Sharp documentation that we have on the web and it now appears directly in the Help Viewer that you can launch right from Visual Studio. You can expand the C-Sharp Guide and see what else is included. Navigate around and find just what you want to take a look at. And what's also nice about this Help Viewer is that if you really would rather see it online, you can do so by just clicking the Online button. And there you see it online. And there you see it in the Help Viewer. So that concludes this lesson. What we've done is that we've installed a component by using the Individual Components tab 
of the Visual Studio installer.